I would like to read a part from my book, The Effortless Entrepreneur. It's about overcoming the fear of success. It might sound strange, but I often come across entrepreneurs that are afraid of success. When they come to me, they say they have a fear of failure and are afraid that things will go wrong. After digging a bit deeper, they turn out to be afraid that things will go right, afraid that they will be successful. There may be various reasons for this fear of success. Perhaps you think that being successful, getting more clients and becoming busier will take away your freedom. This fear will subconsciously prevent you from attracting more clients and could be expressed in not taking enough actions, postponing important things and spending money and many hours perfect, perfecting your plans. Conversely, you may do far too much, but not the things that need to happen to achieve what you really want resulting in a lot of work and stress without results. Another reason for fear of success is an idea or image about yourself, an internalized belief that you are not the kind of person who is successful and creates things while being in the flow. It doesn't fit how you see yourself or your sense of self-worth. You have grown to believe that you don't stand out, that you are mediocre, or that success is not meant for you. Subconsciously, you live up to this self-image by blocking success in your personal and professional life. This could manifest in a tendency to constantly make plans without taking action, or in a very modest, unassuming attitude in presenting yourself and your company. Another reason for fear of success could be rooted in your family's past. As a child of your parents and the generation that came before them, you may have subconsciously taken on a burden handed down by one of your ancestors. Or perhaps you are perpetuating on an old family pattern. When that happens, you are loyal to an ancestor that you might not even have known. Such loyalty could take on many forms. Your ancestors may have le lived in harsh circumstances that prevented them from achieving the success they dreamed of, or they might have been very successful, but at a, at a high price, maybe even death. Or perhaps your ancestors were exiled from the community, rejected precisely because they were successful. If this kind of ancestral legacy lies hidden in your family history and nobody talks about it, it will be a powerful, powerful, powerful force in the undercurrent that could prevent you from being successful. It could, could cause you to subconsciously carry this burden, disappointment or heaviness. This manifests in hard and tedious work in your company, making it very difficult for you to move forward, do what makes you happy or gives you energy or generate an effortless flow of money. You work very hard for minimal results or encounter some setback, one setback after the other. You might also find it hard to ask a fair price for your services or products. Another symptom of this hidden burden is feeling unable to take decisive action that will move your business forward. You fumble your way through without a clear direction, but you never take serious steps toward growth in any form. If you want to read more, I invite you to buy the book, The Effortless Entrepreneur.